In Poland can be found a lot of castles. Some of them were built by crusaders, others appeared even in the last hundred years. But among all of them, Krakow Castle holds a special place. Many Polish kings lived in it. The future Pope John Paul II was the bishop of the local cathedral, and now it welcomes more than a million tourists every year. Hello everyone uh, from Krakow, now uh, I am standing inside of uh, Krakow's castle, it's a king's castle, or a other name of this castle is Wawel's uh, castle, because Wawel is uh, the name of this hill uh, where this castle is uh, located, uh, and it uh, has a huge uh, historical and uh, also cultural meaning from, uh, for uh, most of uh, Polish uh, people. Um, they uh, come here when they are uh, uh, kids, when uh, they grow, uh, I think in different um, uh, periods of uh, their lives. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, if you are local, you can find a lot of uh, uh, your own meanings right here. But uh, this castle also uh, is uh, very popular for tourists because it's, uh, um, it's uh, a magnificent uh, uh, castle, very charming one. And to be honest now, uh, uh, it's not uh, only uh, one um, building on one place, it's a uh, uh, composition of uh, uh, different places, also a church, a very well-known church. Uh, a lot of uh, kings are buried here, also some um, poets, uh, also uh, some scientists. Uh, and uh, uh, the first and uh, only one, uh, as for now, uh, Pope uh, from uh, uh, Poland, uh, John Paul II. Uh, he was exactly from uh, Krakow uh, when he was uh, a, a bishop of uh, this place, uh, Karol Wojtyla, his original name. Uh, he was uh, from uh, this church. Uh, of course, uh, um, this castle had uh, different periods. Uh, it was um, some fortifications uh, firstly, uh, then it was a king's castle. Um, at some time it was a place for soldiers, uh, even not Polish soldiers. And now it's uh, uh, one of the main uh, cultural places of the whole uh, country. And also one more reason to go to uh, Wawel's uh, castle, Krakow's castle, is uh, this view, this gorgeous view from uh, the top of uh, this uh, Wawel's hill. Uh, and um, today, of course, uh, a little bit gloomy uh, weather, uh, but even now it is uh, uh, it looks uh, beautiful. Uh, and uh, at these days uh, when uh, it is a sunny weather, uh, you can uh, spend some time just uh, uh, watching uh, some boats uh, on this river on, and also some uh, waves on it and it will give you uh, tons of uh, uh, positive uh, vibes. And if we will be talking about uh, the history of uh, this castle, uh, of course, um, I think any castle in the world uh, had its uh, good and bad times. Uh, 
uh, and uh, um, if we are talking about Wawel's castle, uh, it also was besieged uh, sometimes, uh, even uh, it was a siege uh, um, from Tatar Mongols uh, period, uh, uh, and also some more modern uh, sieges too. Uh, but uh, more of the damage was made to this castle, not uh, from the sieges, but from uh, uh, fire and also a lot of uh, um, staff uh, was stolen from this castle in different uh, uh, periods of history. Uh, when it was a part of uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire, when Poland was uh, divided uh, by Austro-Hungarian Empire, Russian Empire and uh, Prussia. Uh, it was a place uh, for uh, Austrian soldiers uh, here, and of course it wasn't uh, the best uh, time for uh, these castles too. Uh, anyway, from 1905, uh, uh, this castle uh, also part of uh, uh, Krakow. It was uh, bought from uh, Austro-Hungarian administration, and uh, from uh, that uh, time, from that year, uh, here uh, was started a renovation, restoration of uh, this castle, and of course uh, uh, it is a very long process, uh, uh, almost uh, even more than one uh, century, uh, century of uh, renovations, uh, uh, and even if you will come here uh, with some gaps, uh, for example, each 10 years, uh, you can find something new, something uh, uh, developed and renovated uh, here. Anyway, uh, it looks uh, really nice right now and uh, you can spend uh, some hours walking here and um, uh, seeing uh, how uh, it's made right now. Of course, it's touristic too, but uh, I think that uh, uh, architecture is uh, really great and even a lot of uh, tourists uh, cannot uh, smash your expectations. And also, if we talk about Wawel, about this hill, it uh, gave uh, the name not only to the castle, but also uh, to a uh, dragon, because uh, one of the main symbols of Krakow, uh, Wawel's uh, dragon, he uh, lived here, exactly uh, under this uh, hill, uh, and of course, uh, any uh, touristic uh, city should have a lot of uh, legends. So it is uh, in uh, uh, Krakow and uh, a lot of new legends uh, appear um, in our days too. Uh, but if we're talking about this uh, dragon, uh, monument of this dragon we can find uh, also uh, under the castle. Uh, it is um, about a dragon who uh, ate um, some cows, but when he uh, didn't have any cows, uh, he ate uh, uh, people and of course uh, uh, people of Krakow they decided to uh, fight with this dragon and uh, there are a lot of variations uh, what happened uh, and who uh, killed uh, him uh, but uh, uh, the main legend is uh, the two sons of the king uh, Krak and Lech uh, uh, they killed uh, this dragon and uh, one uh, of uh, uh, sons uh, also killed the second one because uh, he want uh, all the glory to him. Uh, it was Lech who killed his brother, uh, but uh, people of Krakow, uh, they uh, found uh, the truth and um, that's why they named the city uh, by uh, Krak, the second uh, killed uh, um, uh, son. Uh, so now it is a city that is named by one of uh, um, king's sons. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? 
So it was a video uh, about uh, Wawel's castle, Krakow's castle, uh, King's uh, castle in Krakow. Uh, and it's an uh, interesting and uh, unique place in Poland, uh, so you should definitely uh, visit it. And uh, I can say that in Krakow you can find a lot of interesting uh, places. Uh, you can come here uh, times and times uh, and uh, you uh, can expect uh, uh, a great experience uh, each time when you visit this uh, uh, old medieval city. Uh, that's all for today. I also have another video of Krakow and uh, there will be uh, new videos from Krakow on this channel. So subscribe to it and see you in next videos.